Hi friends, in this tutorial we will learn how to draw this jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. Uh, it will be a very easy tutorial for absolute beginners. I have created two different brushes like pumpkin shape brush and the sand texture brush and also created the color palette for this tutorial. Feel free to download the color swatches and the brushes from the description box below. I know many of us won't feel comfortable to draw the shape of the pumpkin in the first stretch that's why I have created this pumpkin shape brush and let's select the black color from the color palette now select the pumpkin shape brush let us rename this layer as rough sketch now let's tap on the layer we have got the pumpkin shape Using the transformation tool, resize the shape and using the sketching brush, I am going to create the stem of it. Draw something like this. It's a rough sketch, so draw freely something like this as this is going to be the rough sketch. We don't need to worry much now. We can correct it even later and some strokes in the stem create a new layer and drag it underneath reduce the opacity of the rough sketch layer to 31 percent now select the monoline brush from the calligraphy set using the first color orange from the color palette let's draw the middle part of the pumpkin First we will finish the middle part and we can do the ribs of the pumpkin in other layer. Start with the middle part like this. Try to close the ends and drag and drop the color. If you personally feel if the shape is not perfect, you can always adjust using the magic tool and liquify option. Increase the size of the brush and try to push it either inwards or outward depending upon the size you have drawn this looks good let's create a new layer and drag it underneath rename the layer to as middle part Now in the layer 3 we will start adding the ribs. Draw the ribs that is close to the middle part something like this. Try to close the ends otherwise while dropping the color it will fill the entire layer. Try to draw similarly in the left hand side and close the ends. To drop the color turn off the visibility of the middle part layer just to see if the ribs are perfect and then turn it on create a new layer and push it underneath and let's rename the layer 3 as sides 1 Let's draw the ribs in the layer 4. Drag and drop the color. Similarly in the left hand side. Draw the rib. Close the ends and drag and drop the color. You can always adjust the edges by checking it and using the transformation tool or the liquify option you can always adjust the edges i am trying to correct the edges as i am not satisfied with the outline so i am trying to correct it reduce the opacity of the layers just to make sure that everything goes fine increase the opacity 
this looks good now create a new layer on top of the layer 4 and activate the clipping mask rename the layer 4 as sides 2 now select the second color from the color palette and in the jacko lantern brush set select the sand texture brush we will be using this brush to add shadows or highlights before that let me reduce the opacity of sides one layer to 60 percent and in the clip to mask layer let's try to add the shadows press gently to add the texture to the sides of the pumpkin similarly in the other side try to add the texture now let's select the third color from the color palette to give more depth to the pumpkin increase the brush size and increase the opacity and add the shadows To increase more shadows in the bottom part, I am selecting this brown color from the palette and pressing it little hard in the end and giving more depth to the pumpkin. Now let's increase the opacity of the sides one layer to 100% and we will try to add one more layer on top of the sides one layer to add the same effect like before. Create a new layer and activate the clipping mask. Select the second color from the palette and gently apply pressure and give the shadows. Similarly in the other side, now select the third color now select the fourth color and apply more shadows in the bottom Now let's create a new layer on top of the middle part layer and activate the clipping mask. Select the third color from the color palette and gently apply pressure and paint the middle area. I like to add more orange to the edges so I am selecting the second color once again and trying to add a texture to the edges of the middle part layer. Select brown color and add shadows in the bottom. The steps are repetitive and it is very easy to understand. Select the layer 5. Let's consider the light is coming from the top. Select the yellow color from the color palette which is available in the second row and try to add the texture on top of the pumpkin. I am starting with the side ribs. Shade something like this. Let's go to layer 6 and start adding the highlights. Let's go to the middle part clipped layer, add some highlights there. You can also add some highlights in the middle of the pumpkin. Let's try to add a stem for the pumpkin. Create a new layer, select the green color from the palette 
and using the studio pen from inking brush set draw the stem before that activate the initial sketch layer draw the outline of the stem and close the edges to drop the color using the dark green color from the palette try to add the texture always add texture in the separate layer so that it will be easy for us to delete or change any of the area if you are not satisfied add the texture something like this i am using the sand texture brush for this entire tutorial you can also use soft brush or any other texture brush that you have let's select the light green color from the palette and try to add some highlights on the stem reduce the brush size and try to add some highlights like this again select the dark green color and try to add shadows you can always imagine things and try to draw it in your way it uh, it is not that it should have a perfect size or shape or perfection at the first time even i am learning every day so try to explore things now select the black color from the palette and using the 6b pencil from the sketching draw the outline of the stem and also try to give some strokes here and there in the stem let's merge all the layers together let me merge the clipped layers first and then i will merge the all layers together now duplicate this layer and click on alpha lock and fill it with the light yellow color available in the palette if you turn off the visibility of the first layer you can see the second layer filled with light yellow we need to create eyes and mouth for the pumpkin for that we will activate the mask layer when the layer mask is activated the color scale will be in gray or white let's select the black color now in the actions menu under canvas tab turn on the drawing guide and edit the drawing guide to symmetry so that we can draw the eyes simultaneously locate the center of the pumpkin and click on done as you can see the drawing assist is on try to draw the eyes now there are chances that one eye can differ with another one when we draw individually so in that case if we turn on the drawing guide it will be very useful I want the edges to be more perfect so I am selecting the studio pen from the inking brush set to draw the edges perfectly yeah this looks good now let's draw the nose let me turn off the drawing guide so that i can connect the edges turn off the drawing assist as well the main advantage of the layer mask is that you can hide or show any part of its parent layer without erasing any content 
which means if I paint something in black in the layer mask, it is going to erase specific part in the layer mask but not in the parent layer. So in future if I want to edit something in this image, I can delete the layer mask and do any further changes. Let's draw the mouth. Try to create an arc, edit the shape and try to erase the middle area between two arcs. So in layer mask, if I paint something in black, it is going to erase the content in the layer mask. But if you see the original or parent layer, the contents are unaffected. Layer mask is a great tool for non-destructive experimentation. Try to erase the area. Now let's select the white color and try to draw the teeth. As you can see it is trying to add the erased part now. So this is the main advantage of using the layer mask. So if you want to edit any images without affecting the main content you can always go with the layer mask option. Layer mask is a good tool for editing any sort of images. Now let's create a new layer on top of sides to layer and select the orange color that is available in the last row and try to add the shadows for the eyes. shadows for the mouth and nose Draw an arc like this and fill it up with the orange color. As we all know, a carved pumpkin will have the flesh which can be seen in the mouth, eyes and nose area. So we are trying to represent that. You can always drag and drop the color. A little bit of flesh near the upper part of the mouth. Get a new layer on top of sides to layer and select the second color in the second row from the color palette. Draw a circle and color fill it. Adjust the position of the content using the transformation tool. Using the magic wand option, select the blue and increase the limit to 17.6%.
using the same magic wand option, select the Gaussian blur and increase the limit to 26% and adjust the position. We need to create background for this pumpkin. So let's create a new layer and drag it underneath. Select the red color from the palette. Using the soft brush from the airbrushing, fill the bottom of the layer. Let's select the orange color from the third row and similarly apply the color in the top area of the layer. Using the Gaussian blur, smoothen the contents. You can always reposition using the transformation tool. Now select the purple color from the palette and create a new layer. Using the studio pen, let's create some shadows for this pumpkin. Fill it with color. Now change the blending mode to linear burn and reduce the opacity to 51%. Now using the Gaussian blur, smoothen the area. Now it acts like shadow of the pumpkin. So I explained some simple concepts of layer mask. If you like this tutorial, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.